told you last night, John Quarterman is with us. And John, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Thanks for having me on. Well, I understand we've got the Little River Paddle Race, the Big Little River Paddle Race. It's the ninth annual Big Little River Power um, Paddle Race. Tell us what's going on because a lot of folks are saying, what is the Big Little River Paddle Race? Well, it's a really nice stretch on the Little River from Red Roberts Landing way up above the top of the lake at Reed Bingham State Park down to the lake. It's about three miles of Blackwater River with lots of cypresses and overhanging Spanish moss and you can race. Some people do it in half an hour. I try to do it in one hour. Now, tell us what, what this is all about. I mean, you know, I, I know you've got your river race, but what is it all about? What, what does it benefit and how do folks get involved? Oh, well, what does it benefit? It benefits Walls Watershed Coalition. That's two W's, W-W-A-L-S which is your local uh, group that's trying to keep the waters fishable, drinkable, swimmable. And uh, Samani Riverkeeper, that'd be me, that's a staff position in the project at Walls Watershed Coalition. So that's one of the two organizations that benefits. The other is Friends of Reed Bingham, as in Reed Bingham State Park. Mm -hmm. Now everybody, lo I mean, Reed Bingham is a great park. Folks love going out there mm -hmm. and you can see all sorts of things. And and wildlife, good places to walk, and uh, mm -hmm. if you got a good pair of knees, you can really do some walking and some hiking back in the in the mm -hmm. trails that they've got. But now on Saturday, this is this is this Saturday, April twenty fourth, and it's going to there's a uh, you've got prizes for who finishes first and all that mm -hmm. all kind of things. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you are the first place, you get a hundred dollars. If you beat the record time, you get two hundred dollars. If nobody beats it this year, this that goes up to three hundred dollars. So we'll see if anybody does it this time. We got one fellow that we know is coming from Tallahassee. He won our other paddle race last year, the Walls Boomerang Paddle Race, which is in October. So we'll see if he's got competition this time. Now, um, if people want to get involved in this, now do you have to have a, a kayak or a canoe, or, or what do you have to have to paddle down the river? Uh, you need to paddle in either a kayak or a canoe. Sorry, no paddle boards on this one. Too many overhanging branches. But you can rent them from the park. This is all online. You get your ticket online and you can rent your, your boat online. It's $10 per boat. It's $30 per ticket. And the way that works is once you pay for your boat, you say what you want. Single, tandem, uh, canoe, or kayak. And then the, the park will bring the boat to the put-in at Red Roberts Landing. Oh, okay. So you don't have to worry about going to the park and getting the boat and getting up to Red mm -hmm. Roberts and then come down the river. What if you want to take your rod and reel or, or your rim buster with you to a little fishing on the way down? Oh, you can do that. You probably won't win the race, but you can do that. Now, that is, that's a pretty way and a nice peaceful way to enjoy that stretch of water in it. Oh yeah, yeah. You, when we uh, paddle there, but it's not the race, we see lots of people fishing. Now, folks go up there and uh, Red Roberts. Now, how, how where do they go online to do this? Go to walls.net. That's two W's. W W A L S dot net, or if it's easier to remember, Sawani Riverkeeper dot O R G, and it's right there on the front page. So once again, that's thirty dollars for the ticket, and if you want to rent a boat, that's ten bucks. Also. To get to the finish line, you're going to have to go into the main part of the park, and there's a five dollar parking fee. You just pay that as you come in. Right. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, and this is going to take place Saturday, rain or shine. Well, if we really get thunderstorms, we may have to do something. And we are watching the weather. Yes, I see it currently says 70 percent chance of thunderstorms. But we've observed frequently that that will maybe move a day and also frequently when it says that it means it actually starts in the afternoon. So we'll be watching the weather. If it's just going to drizzle, we're going to be paddling. If it's just going to rain for an hour at 8 o'clock, we'll just start at 9 like we planned. And if it's going to drizzle a little more, maybe we'll start a little later. So we'll work around it. Now coming down, where, where are some, what, will they, what will these folks see and experience while they're paddling down the river? Uh, okay, well, as, as I mentioned, you see lots of cypresses, lots of big old pines, some long leaf. You'll probably see a great blue heron. We hope so. That's the animal on our uh, banner. And you will probably see an alligator or two, but don't be worried. They will not approach you, and you know, don't pet them. They look cute and fuzzy, I think, but leave them be, and they'll leave you alone. 
And I, I, that's one thing I tell folks. I love to fish. Mm -hmm. Love being out on the water. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather fish with 10 or 15 gators around me than I would one snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we very seldom see snakes. It is possible because they're there. And, of course, watch out for the wasp, the red wasp. But you know, it's fairly wide out there, so chances are you're not going to run into wasps. We've actually never had that happen. Now, of course, this is going to take place Saturday morning. Eight o'clock is uh, right. is a sign up time. You go on you go on your web page, and uh, it, it it benefits the Watershed Coalition Walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what's the why, why would folks want it? I know you, I know you say just to preserve the water and the fishing, because mm -hmm. a lot of folks don't realize how important that is to mm -hmm. us. 